الحمد لله الحمد لله وكفى وسلام على عباده الذين اصطفى أما بعد فأعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم يا أيها الذين آمنوا اتقوا الله حق تقاته ولا تموتن إلا وأنتم مسلمون وقال عليه الصلاة والسلام لا يؤمن أحدكم حتى أكون أحب إليه من والده وولده والناس يجمعين Respected elders and brothers As we move away from the month of Ramadan We feel that now we can relax Naturally our nafs feels Yesterday I was discussing with Mulana as well Our nafs feels that now we can just take a break so that ibadah that we were used to in the month of Ramadan slowly, slowly, slowly it starts fading away for example in the month of Ramadan Alhamdulillah we were reading Taraweeh Salah we didn't regard it as a burden we would finish full 20 rakat Alhamdulillah but now to read Isha Salah becomes difficult in Ramadan person should read Tahajjud Salah Ishraq Salah, Chashd, Quran But now to open the Quran and read Surah Yasin becomes difficult Because the nafs feels that is no more Ramadan, why are you doing it anyway? This is waswasa from Shaitan So till what extent a person should do Ibadat? Obviously we have other commitments We have other things to do We want to relax also we want to give time to our family and children as well. We want to give time to ourselves as well. We want some entertainment as well, halal entertainment. So I have to say, you know, because these days entertainment, unfortunately, is just used in one context. So halal entertainment, not, not the other entertainment. So one of the ayats of the Qur'an, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَعْبُدْ رَبَّكَ حَتَّى يَأْتِيَكَ الْيَقِينَ That worship your Lord until your last breath. What does that mean? That stay in sajda till the last breath? Stay in salah? It means that your entire life, whatever you do, stay away from sin till your last breath. That's the ultimate goal, that a person stays in the boundary and the hudud of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the hudud are different. For a very pious servant, uh, to miss tahajjud salah becomes very difficult for him. He feels as he has broken the hudud. He hasn't broken the hudud, but he feels. That's why Abu Huraira radiallahu anhu or Muawiyah radiallahu anhu, it's narrated of them. That when they missed one tahajjud salah, they cried for days. That oh Allah, what has happened to me? I wasn't given the ability to pray tahajjud this morning. So these are the hudud of the pious. But the minimum hudud for a simple believer is that he stays away from sin. Now we need to look into our lives. How many sins that we were involved before Ramadan. Alhamdulillah, because of the barakah of the month of Ramadan, we stopped it all. But now we have to continue. Ittaqu Allah haqqa tuqati. Allah Ta'ala says that fear Allah as how Allah is supposed to be feared. Fearing is not that, you know, it's not like scaremongering. It's not a monster that you are fearing. Not a beast in a jungle that you are fearing. This fear is out of love and compassion. Khashiyat, what you call. You do not want to offend Allah. You know, like a obedient child going over my time you know an obedient child is obedient to his parents now he does not want to do something that will offend his parents so the, the child fears that if I do something maybe my parents will get offended uh -huh. a lover to his beloved does not want to do something that will offend the beloved that's why you won't find Majnoon doing something that will offend Layla that's another story on his own, inshallah. One day we'll discuss Layla and Majnoon in, to in its totality. 
The Sahaba radiallahu anhu made it a motto of their lives that whatever they do in life, they had one standard and that is how Allah and His Rasul sallallahu can be pleased and period. Now that doesn't mean that you won't make mistakes. A person will make mistakes, we will slip, we will now and then fall in the trap of shaitan and nafs. But the moment we realize, we try to retract. We come out of it. We make tawbah. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to help us and assist us. If we keep this routine that every time I, first of all, I won't have the intention to sin. But in case I fall into the trap of shaitan and nafs, I will make tawbah. I will stay away from, from sin. I will ask Allah ta'ala to forgive me. Or I will read two rakats extra salah. I will keep a fast. I will give some sadaqah. One day a time will come when a person will feel he's from the morning till the evening, he's sinless. You'll feel that. And you'll feel yourself going closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. May Allah ta'ala give me you and one and all the ability. وَآخِرُ دَعْوَانَا الْحَمْدُ لِلَّهِ رَبِّ الْعَالَمِينَ Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah, Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah. أشهد أن محمد رسول الله أشهد أن محمد رسول الله حي على السلام حي على السلام 